Yo, 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 what is going on people? Happy March, it's March 1st, 2019 in Big Bear Lake, California. And uh, this is the calm before the storm, but also to show you guys what's left of the snow. And as you guys can see, hardly any. So yeah, it, it melts pretty quickly, guys. Uh, this time of year though, you know, even though we had cold temps, the sun's at a different angle, and it's just gonna take a little more of the snow away during the day anyway. Um, even through some of that radiational heating so but yeah you guys will definitely see in just a moment how it's just well, just just a lot there's just a lot less snow I mean look at the size of the roads look at those hills straight ahead there's nothing left on them but behind us that snow is still there Nish is good fantastic and and yes yeah, so this this phone now, because I got another phone that's got, I got that uh, new iPhone that's got the really good camera on it. So that's gonna be great because now I'm gonna have that camera also on top of the other GoPro that I am definitely getting real soon. I thought I was gonna be getting that GoPro like today, <laughs> um, but that $2,400 for the train horn, man, that, that, that kind of hurt me a bit and then I, um, so just gonna be a few more days a few more days but um, I know a lot of you were asking for the train horn and so um, guys those of you who are like me who just love that thing like dude this is not your ordinary train horn this is the real deal these are the Nathan air chimes these are the ones uh, this is this is gonna be just ridiculously ridiculously loud and just so wonderful you guys we're gonna have so much fun messing with people um, oh man people's reactions are just fantastic it sounds like kind of a jerk move but I'm telling you guys it's it's <laughs> it's kind of right on the line there but it is so funny um, it is so funny getting people's reactions but yeah so um, that is what is going on guys I'm super 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 stoked about that um, yeah, 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 so I don't know what you guys suggest, if I should get another GoPro Hero 5, the black, like I have right now, or should I get the GoPro Hero 7, I was thinking the, may, maybe the 5 again, because it, the thing's badass, as, as you guys know, the picture's freaking unbelievably beautiful, and it's like a hundred and something dollars less. Um, and so we can get something just as good, brand new. Um, and then also this will will make it so I won't have any issues. I probably wouldn't anyway, but have any issues in regards to patching some of the videos together. Um, like if I want to use some from the, the GoPro Hero 5, then use some from the GoPro Hero 7. Um, I don't know if it's easy to, you know. See, I'm, I'm very new at this, this type of stuff, so. Anyway, I know I've been doing these YouTube videos for a long time, but I haven't been editing for a long time. Here's the lake. Here's a little more. There's a little water left on this side, but look at how little snow there is, guys. How incredible is that? Look at that. How incredible is that? So much snow is gone. It's, it's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah, guys, unbelievable. There's the little, the little children's. Little children's having fun having fun at school so yeah guys so we're gonna do the fawn skin route the fawn skin route um, the, I, I like doing this route typically because it's the way that most of you will come into town coming through uh, highway 18 on the front side so I'd like to show what it's like driving from the dam into town so you guys know but that routes closed so it ain't gonna matter anyway yo 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 um, but it's still gonna be a nice drive. And once again, you guys are just gonna see, once again, just the huge snow discrepancies. And if I say once again, once again, <laughs> I'm gonna once again myself to the side of the head, I'll tell you that much. All right, I'm missing some good views, guys, of Snow Shummit. Snow Shummit. Oh, it's Snow Shummit. Take my medicine this morning. Where 
gonna let this guy pass in just a moment, okay? Just so we can get a, some uh, some better footage. But this guy's kind of flying around the corner, right behind me. He's kind of flying. You guys know I've never walked this bike path or that walking path. Um, never done it, and I need to. That would just be such a beautiful video also, you know what I'm, I was gonna pull over right here, but I don't wanna do it where there's a corner. Right, yeah, I don't want cars whipping around when I'm trying to pull out. Oh, that's what she said. All right, here we go. We're making a right here, we're gonna make a right. And then we're gonna let this guy pass. We're gonna let this guy pass right by. Come on, man, you're gonna pass. Thank you for passing, thank you. All right, cool guys. Cool, cool, cool. And then right up here on the left is where that Jeep was uh, completely on its side the other day. You guys remember that? That was horrible. That was horrible. I'll show you where it was. There's no one behind us. Right there, that's where the Jeep was. It was on its side right there. Man, of all the places, the guy found the like one ditch right there. Man, that's just too bad. All right, so, 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 so. Anyway, yeah, once again, it's March 1st, 2019. I've missed you guys a bunch. It's 11.55 in the morning, and it is currently 53 degrees. Yeah, guys, I've, I've, I've been missing you guys, man. I'm telling you, it really feels like you guys are with me when I do these videos, and it feels like I'm not alone, and it's just such a nice feeling. I don't mean to whine and sound like a little biatch, but you know, I I felt alone for quite some time. And uh yeah. So I wish I could communicate with you guys right now. If we had good cellular service, we would do well, I don't think I'd waste your time for a live feed, but I'd really like to hear what you guys think about just all the snow melted already for the most part. All that snow that we had. I mean, guys, look at this. Just amazing. Obviously, once we get into the shadier areas and over towards Fonskin and the dam, there's going to be more snow. Because first of all, it's the part of town that gets the most snow. And secondly, a lot of the area that we're going to be driving through um, has big trees and rocks surrounding it, therefore leaving casting a shadow and uh, not those areas do not receive a lot of direct sunlight during the day so um, you get a lot less radiational heating to melt the snow therefore a lot more of the snow sticks around all right we got some lake views to the to the left to the left to the right to the right Um, and then there is a gentleman, Christian, who, gosh, I need to remember to go check out your, uh, your property because poor Christian over on Irving or something had a tree come down on his place. So God forbid, man. Thank God. No, thank God. No one got hurt, man. Thank God. No one got hurt. And Christian, please forgive me. I don't mean to be lagging on it, dude. I'm, I'm so intensely freaking busy and then like when I have time I just completely forget so it's just total on me my bad for sure dude I'm so sorry and I will do my best to uh to go check that out in the next uh well in in the next day I just gotta remember Ugh. it's not because I'm selfish dude it's because I've smoked myself retarded all the years of burning it's got me yearning Oh, look at the chemtrails. Oh, look at the chemtrails. Oh. 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 Gosh, look at San Gorgonio, guys. That just looks so beautiful. Just unbelievably covered with snow. The far left part of it, you can hardly see it because it has so much snow on it. That's just so incredible, you guys. Unbelievably beautiful. But so little snow left up here. Just amazing, guys. 
just amazing. You're just amazing. Fleeting fantasy of life. Oh. All right, so we are in Fonskin, my my folks, my peeps, who I've missed so deep. And guys, I didn't know if I really wanted to bring this up, um, but I think if for the ones out, for the ones of you that that pray and think about others, um, one of our YouTube friends lost somebody, um, and no one knows exactly what happened. But um, the in initial thought was it could be part of the drug the drug epidemic that is taking people's lives these days um so please 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 think about these people you guys i'm not going to say their name out of out of privacy for for them unless they would like me to but i don't even know if i'm doing the right thing by even saying anything right here but it would be important for me for these people to get a whole bunch of prayers and just thoughts for the people who don't pray just think about them um think about how hard it would be to lose somebody especially to something that's um, you know not it doesn't have to be an imminent threat um, you know so I just my heart goes out to them you guys my heart goes out to them and apparently Luckily, none of the kids were the ones that walked in and found him. So, God, guys, it's just unbelievably horrifying. I feel so bad for them. Just absolutely feel so bad for them. So, those of you who can relate, those of you who can sympathize, I would just appreciate. Because this is our family, guys. These are, these are our people. Um, these are our people, guys. So, and I and I and I love each and every single one of you. I really do. It's not bullshit. I really, really, really do care about you guys, big time. So it, it just it just devastates me when I hear about something like this happening, especially as I said, something that doesn't have to happen. Like, um, you know, um, <laughs> just unbelievable. You know, I can understand if it's like a heart attack or um, even a car accident, even a car accident, even though that doesn't have to happen. <laughs> you know, we created this technology that allows us to drive at a fast speed, hence more risk at bodily harm and death. And so, yeah, just, just guys, I just love you guys big time. And I'm super, 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 super sad for this family. And. I really hope that, um, you know, nothing like this ever happens to you guys. If any of you are ever struggling out there, please reach out for help. Please reach out for help. Because the most selfish thing you can possibly do is be found dead by people who love you. Um, when it's something completely avoidable. So, anyway, that's that. Hope they're not mad at me. And if they are, I will deeply, deeply apologize profusely. So, um, but I believe in a higher power. Whether you guys do or don't, that's completely up to you. I don't judge. I don't, I don't care. Um, I just want people to have positive thoughts for these people. So anyway, next up on the list to talk about, because I'm, we're not going to talk about that anymore, right? right 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 now that's just that's just too too nuts right now so um we got the storm coming in okay so this is you know the calm before the storm as well we got a storm coming in it's supposed to start raining tonight and we could get a quarter of an inch tonight a quarter of an inch tomorrow during the day and then in the evening time um it's supposed to clear out so you know chances are we'll get a half inch of rain and it will be beautiful. 
Man, I'm telling you, San Gorgonio just, just looks incredible, you guys. Okay, there's if, if there's a place I can pull over to the right so I can zoom in, so you guys can just get a grasp of how much snow is up there on the far left from your guys' perspective, it's just incredible. It's just incredible. I, I believe it's 11,500 feet. Oh, man. Just spectacular. You know what? Can I pull it right here? Yeah, just for a second. Yeah, right. This person. Oh, no. It's, whoa, that's like a ditch right there. That's unbelievable, man. Well, unfortunately, San Gorgonio is about to go hiding behind Snow Summit if we don't. Uh, nope. Somebody's house, and they were outside. I'm sorry, guys. I just want you guys to see how much snow is up there. I'm going to zoom in on it. It's just really beautiful. Oh, there's somebody behind me. Dang it. Well, unfortunately, guys, because we're considerate of other drivers, uh, we're not going to be doing any of the any of that at the moment. And anyways, you can't really see it anymore. It's behind our mountains right here. So that glob of snow straight ahead, once we get around this little right corner right here, that's Snow Valley Ski Resort over in Running Springs. But holy moly guys, the lake looks amazing. And a lot of the ice melted, as you guys can see. A lot of the ice and snow melted. So. We get closer to Boulder Bay and the and the dam. You can see all the snow over here. Look. And then I guarantee you, if we go over to Baldwin, there's not going to be any more snow over there. But unfortunately, we don't have time to do that drive at the moment. Not at the moment now, but soon enough we will. Yeah, soon enough. Yeah. So because this schmuck behind me is in such a huge hurry and we can't go right here, I'm just going to let this this guy go, go by because he's got to make a left or she. Wow, dude, the chick was flying. Okay, guys, that's Snow Valley. Right there, the top left. That's a ski resort over there. And they still have a lot of snow over there. That's Running Springs, folks. Or at least it's part of Running Springs, yes. It's part of it. Ah, we got a guy here right behind me. We're gonna have to actually, you know what? We're gonna just pull up here and let, let them by, right? Or let's, let's just go to the gate real quick, why not? Okay, so. Let's just go to the gate and just check it out, man. Check it out. So this is what's closed from here to that ski resort. That Oh, my gosh. Look at how much snow Snow Valley has. Just incredible. Let me get this thing off of this so you guys can see. And look at that bird. Hey, bite. So, look. It's totally close, bruh. Bruh. But if I can get a good view... Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Right through here. That's Snow Valley, guys. Wow, what a great camera. This is my iPhone 7 Plus camera. The phone I have is the 10s Max now. 
But yeah, let's get one more zoom in on that, guys. That's just a such a beautiful sight. Snow Valley. And this is the little Arctic Circle. So unfortunately, we can't go that way, guys. But we are going to head back. Head back, huh? Come on, light. You kidding me? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. There we go. Woo! All right, guys. So one of these days, we need to get up here too, to the to the dam keeper's house. Straight ahead up there. But we gotta wait till there's no snow so I can get up there. And we shall be bueno. It'll be cool, guys. Hey guys, we're almost getting to the weather where I'm gonna not be too scared to take my drone out. Just this time of year, you have lots of different winds at different levels. And I just get really worried at this elevation because that drone was, that was 1500 bucks plus all the extra stuff, another 500 bucks. <clears throat> and it's, I still haven't used it yet. But guys, that's another thing that I spent a lot of money before any donations on also. So just know that like everything I actually get from, from anything I do, I pretty much invest it in this YouTube channel. And uh, all the help that you guys give, with all the driving, it mostly goes towards gas and stuff, but I'm 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 gonna be able to use a little bit towards a GoPro, which I'm super super stoked about. As I said, I bought myself a, a new iPhone, um, which has another killer camera on it. So that's gonna be another camera that we can utilize, which is just awesome. Um, yeah, guys, I'm super super stoked. I'm super stoked, and I hope you guys are as well. All right. Alrighty then. So, what I was talking about earlier, this, this area doesn't see much direct sunlight during the day, hence we get a lot of the snow that stays over here, okay? A lot, a lot of it, a lot of it. It's a lot of it. You gotta get a lot of it. So there's that. And then, no more and then, no more and then. Welcome to Big Bear, guys. And I, <clears throat> I apologize about the long video, folks. But it gives you guys a good chance to see what town looks like. So you'll be able to just immediately gauge whether you're gonna be able to come up here or not, whether you wanna come up here or not. Um, you're not gonna to have to get any BS hyperbole from um, a lot of the people up here, which look, if you run a business up here, of course you're gonna be marketing a certain way, but one of the things that was frustrating was that a couple, or someone up here 
was saying there was like four, three, four feet of snow when it was like all rain and uh, just stuff like that. Even Dallas Rains did that too. Um, and yes, he, he is not here, but that stuff's just really frustrating guys because I want to make sure you guys get the, the right information so you don't have to waste your time to come up here because it can be a tr significant waste of time and money um, when you come up here expecting one thing and then it's something completely different. And then they almost have you trapped hostage here um, because it's such a long drive um, that you know you acquiesce most of the time. Okay, fine, we'll stay. How much is the Motel 6 tonight? Oh, 300 bucks? Okay, that sounds great. I wish we took better care of you guys, but some of the people do. That guy is so lucky he stepped on it. Alrighty. Yeah, guys, just amazing. Just such little snow. Just such little snow. This is always one of my favorite pictures. I forgot to, to get it just now. Dang it. What's yes, eh? What's yes, huh? <laughs> so that train horn should be here any, ta any day. The, the horn blasters people called me tell a couple days ago say hey we're 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 i'm not they didn't say we're finally shipping out but that's what i was thinking but he's like yeah we're shipping it out and uh they asked me what shirt size i am so i'm sure they're gonna send me a pair of pants um <laughs> i'm excited guys that's gonna be so cool what's not gonna be cool is i have to spend another thousand dollars to have it installed but you know i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna find a way where there's a will there's a way and we're gonna make this happen so you guys have been so freaking cool. I'm so grateful for you guys, which is why I'm happy to spend every penny that I make on this channel. Because imagine what this channel is going to be like next season. It'll probably be a, like like even even better for those of you who already like it. I'm super stoked about that. I really hope so. I really hope so. Huh? And you know what's great, guys? I'm going to be able to upload these videos without any interruptions or issues because now I have another phone. And this phone doesn't have to be, uh, you, like, so what would happen, why sometimes some of the videos wouldn't show up for like three hours later is because when I'm uploading it, then I get a phone call for work, I'd have to take the phone with me and go, and then it would completely stop, and I'd have to start over once I get back home. It was just a pain in the butt. I'm sure there was something I was doing wrong, but yeah, it was just a pain in the butt, so that's what's been going on. And that is what is going to go on now, is we're gonna be stoked that we don't have to wait. I'm not gonna to have to wait anymore. I can leave the house and leave this phone there. Village Pizza, right there to the right, guys. Some of the best pizza in town, I think. I think. So just so you guys know what kind of pizza I like, not that anybody gives a dang, but my favorite pizza is down the hill. It's called Z Pizza. And funny enough, the guy who started Z, Z Pizza, young guy also, um, <clears throat> I used to uh, talk to him all the time at the Elks Club in, in Newport Beach. I used to go to the Elks Club with my grandpa every afternoon at about 4:30 p.m., um, and we'd have a, a you know a couple drinks, but the owner of Z Pizza was a member of the Elks too, and so it was just super cool. Every every Wednesday he'd he'd bring in uh, spaghetti and meat sauce and meatballs for us and stuff like f for the Elks. It was just super cool. But Z Pizza, not just because of the guy being cool, their pizza is incredible. But 
if you don't get it right when it comes out of the oven, then it's not really all that fantastic. It's the weirdest thing. Right out of the oven, holy crap, is it like the best. But yeah, don't let it get get cold or else it's just like anything, it's just not that good. So I know I'm very annoying sometimes, but thank you guys for putting up with me. And thankfully we didn't get any calls. I can't believe it. How lucky are we? How lucky are we or did we? Oh shoot, I think we did. Hey Jim. Since I'm Jewish, you could sing that song to me, be like, hey Jew. <laughs> it's funny, I'm so confused. I have a cross tattooed on my chest. But I guess I'm like 48% Ashkenazi. Who'd have known? Who'd have thunk it, man? So anyway, if you guys are coming up here, don't forget Highway 18 on the front side is closed. So you're going to have to take Highway 38 on the other side of the front. Or you could drive all the way around to the back. Um, and the way you do that is you take the 215 to the 15. And then once you get over the mountains, you want to go to a, uh, the exit. is called Bear Valley Road once you've uh, crossed the San Bernardino Mountains. And it's about 10 miles past the other end. Um, of the San Bernardino mountain range. So you'll go through the Cajon Pass and that's about 10 miles. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, so go to Bear Valley Road and then um, it'll be pretty obvious which direction you wanna to head to go towards the mountains. So you'll be making a right on Bear Valley Road and stay on that until it dead ends at Highway 18. Hang a right on Highway 18 and just f stay on that. Follow the signs because Highway 18 makes a turn. Once you get into Lucerne Valley, it makes a turn. Um, and sometimes if you're not really paying attention, it can be difficult to see. So just keep your eyes peeled. But uh, that's the... That's the easiest route up, I believe, is Highway 18 backside. It literally takes me, even with inclement weather, at the most 15 minutes without any traffic. Typically, it takes me about 10 minutes, though. From the top of the mountain range down to the Mitsubishi plant, which is at the bottom, once you exit the San Bernardino National Forest, only takes me 10 minutes on Highway 18 on the back. So anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Saw how little snow is left. Just amazing. Let me show you my little neighborhood real quick. So you guys can actually really, really see. It's just amazing, guys. Wow, oh, these guys are hauling. I was going to try to pull in front of them, but wouldn't have been smart. All right, let's go. Look at you guys, there's like no snow left. <laughs> Alright, peace out. Love y'all.